Welcome to the Harmony Builder Professional presentation video. This video will describe a unique software tool that is designed to help you compose. Composition requires the creative manipulation and assembly of numerous musical components such as notes, intervals, scales, chords, inversions, key and time signatures, non-harmonic tones, rhythm, to name just a few. And in the following demonstration, I'll illustrate how Harmony Builder can assist you in assembling all these components in a musical and formally correct manner. Most composers have traditionally used the keyboard instrument, like the piano, to experiment with the musical material for a composition. But with the advent of sophisticated music software, this approach has been challenged. As we'll see in this video, computer-assisted composition offers many advantages, for example, not requiring a piano keyboard to compose. But the main advantage of Harmony Builder Professional is the ease with which you can explore sound combinations that are otherwise difficult to find or indeed play on a musical instrument. Let me show you how this software program is unique in helping you compose your music. There are two fundamental approaches to composing. One is harmonic and the other is melodic. And in some cases these two approaches are used simultaneously. Let's start by looking at the harmonic approach. After deciding on a key signature and time signature, and the number of bars in the first segment of music, the next step is to create a harmonic sequence over which a melody will later be fashioned. Ensure that the Choose Next Chord button is selected, and insert an initial chord by clicking Chord Add, and then move the square cursor over to the next beat. The Builder panel will now help us choose and voice the next chord. We can of course choose any chord in any key, and the target key menu combined with the chord wheel will help us make this choice. For example, if I wish to stay inside the key I'm in at present, I select target key equals C, and then experiment with the chord wheel. As I click each chord, I can hear what it sounds like in the chosen key. We are also shown the harmonically correct path options to the next chord. The chord buttons are positioned so that the higher the button, the greater the harmonic tension of that chord with respect to the tonic chord. We can also experiment with seventh chords by selecting the seventh button. This will change the sounds we hear when we click the chord wheel buttons. Here is a possible chord sequence. Before we can add the second chord to the score, we must decide which inversion we want it to be in, root, first, or second, in the case of a triad, and also in the case of a triad, what note to repeat, since we are composing in four-part harmony. As we select different buttons, a color-coded indicator tells us what chord factor is in the bass and what chord factor is doubled. Each color represents a chord factor, as described in the coloration panel below. Once a choice is made, we can press the Find button to get a list of all the possible voicings. As you can see, there is a large number of voicing solutions. Let's choose one and insert it. Now a good composition usually requires good voice leading, partly because it makes it easier to perform and partly because it creates a smoother harmonic flow. To find the chord that creates the best possible voice leading, we can apply the rules of harmony by going to the checker panel and selecting any of the rules we wish to apply. These rules are described in detail in the Harmony Builder educational manual and video. For this exercise, I will select them all. If I now repress Find, I get just one choice, which is the only chord voicing available for my chosen chord that respects all the rules of harmony. I remove the present chord with the Remove button and insert the new chord in the score by pressing the Add button. Now I move the square cursor to the next beat, select the four chord, and press Find. This time I have two results, both with an F in the soprano. Since this is a rather awkward melodic jump, I decide to try some other choices. The second choice, with doubled fifth, gives no results. The third choice, with a doubled third, gives two results, and I choose the one with a higher bass note. 
Now I move the square cursor to the next beat and select the 2 7 chord. Notice that a new rule becomes available for this selection, the preparations rule. I select it and then press find. I have two results, each one with a different soprano note, so my choice can be based on melodic considerations. I decide to make the melody move down and choose the second voicing. My next chord is a 5 triad. This activates the seventh rule, which I select. However, clicking Find produces no results, so I have to experiment with different choices. The third choice produces one result, which I add to the score. Now I move the square cursor to the right and the score scrolls to the left. Next, I want a dominant seventh chord, so I select 5-7 in the chord wheel and click Find. I have two options, and I decide to choose the option with the greatest number of repeated notes. I can use the repeated note filter to help me find the right option. I'll add this chord to the score. The last chord is a one chord, and here I add the leading tone rule, since this is an important rule to follow within a cadence. Interestingly, none of the choices generate any results, so I have to resort to introducing an exception to the hidden fifths and octave rule. Exception A will allow for hidden fifths and octaves when the upper voice moves by one step. Now I find that I get one result with choice 4. If I deselect exception A, I can see the hidden fifth error that I have exceptionally allowed, now marked with purple lines. Let's listen to our completed harmonic sequence. This can serve as the harmonic underpinning for a more articulated melody and embellishments such as passing notes and passing chords.